UAB heads to LSU. And LSU is favored by 15 at this point with a total of 52 and a half. Latest numbers at BetUS, of course. 9 p.m. Eastern Time, and this one's going to be on ESPN2. Uh, by the way, don't forget, I'm going to hit my uh, NFL Super Contest picks after this. But let's go ahead and pull it up, and we'll look at some trends here. The Blazers are 5-1-1 one, and one against the spread in their last seven in November. Uh, don't forget, UAB went to LSU not that long ago and, and got a win in Baton Rouge. Uh, granted, times were a little different back then. Uh, I <laughs> say not that long ago. I think it was like 20, or I think it was like 2000, maybe 2001, something like that. Um, UAB is eight and three against the spread against a team with a winning record. However, you look at what they're doing against the SEC. They are 0 and five against the spread in the last five against the SEC. They are 0 and four against the spread in their last four road games. LSU five and one against the spread in their last six home games. They are six, two and one against the spread in their last nine games in November they are 19 and 7 against the spread in their last 26 following a spread loss which they did not cover when they closed as a three and a half point favorite at Arkansas last week and yet only won by three so let's get into the numbers my numbers have UAB uh, only a 7.72 point underdog here this is kind of that same situation where you're trying to handicap motivation you're kind of trying to play psychologist a little bit, all those different things. Dylan Hopkins came back for UAB last week, and the offense got back to looking pretty good. Um, the UAB defense had been the big problem, right? Number 91 in PPA per drive over the last five weeks, which all these stats that you see on the screen are over the last five weeks. LSU, after the Alabama win, they could not get anything going uh, on the ground against Arkansas, and they really couldn't get anything going offensively, period. Uh, do I think that UAB's defense is as good as what Arkansas has uh, in their front seven? No. No, I do not believe so. But I do think that the UAB offense can put up some points here, and for Brian Vincent, who is the UAB interim coach, who is wanting that job but has lost four games already this year, he would really like to have this feather in his cap to beat the SEC West uh, champion. But I, I just don't know that he's going to be able to get there. Uh, these numbers, by the way, again, over the last five weeks, UAB is only throwing the ball 35% of the time, 36% of the time, whatever. But uh, what I'm looking at here is Hopkins is back. And, yes, they do have McBride, the running back there, and I think they're going to be able to have some success against that LSU defensive front because LSU is number 93 in PPA per rush allowed. Uh, they are number 88 in rushing explosiveness allowed, number 86 in rushing success rate allowed. I think Hopkins is going to be able to throw the ball on them. Like, I, I really do. Uh, passing explosiveness, number 13 in passing explosiveness for UAB's offense. LSU's defense is number 104. They allow some big plays. They don't get a lot of havoc. They're number 105 in havoc rate is LSU's D. I think the biggest issue that you're going to run into is the UAB defense um, being able to slow down Jaden Daniels and company. At 15 points, it, it, it doesn't sound like a ton. But, man, for an offense like this, I really think, I really think that UAB can stay in this ballgame. I understand it's in Baton Rouge. I get it. But, man, uh, the LSU don't really care about this ballgame. They just don't. I think UAB is going to be able to put up some points. They'll make it very interesting in this. I think they'll end up losing by two touchdowns. Uh, give me UAB plus the 15 here. And I know I'm going the opposite way of um, the opposite of what I did with Auburn and Western Kentucky. But the truth of the matter is LSU does not need this game. They just got to win and get out of there. It really doesn't matter. Uh, they got Texas A&M next week. They're going to be focused on that. Like, that's one, a rivalry game. Two, uh, you don't want to lose that because you're you're talking about a playoff game. This is a spot where UAB has a lot more motivation than, than LSU. Maybe you guys see it differently. You guys jump into the comments below. Let me know what you think on this. Um, yeah, so give me, give me UAB plus the 15. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. 
and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.